San Francisco is the epicenter of many of the frustrating qualities of California that most people find a bit much, to put it lightly. In a lot of ways, this city personifies the far-left politics that many are turned off by. This is a city with a reputation, and for good reason. Last year, San Francisco had over 30,000 car break-ins, and reportedly, there were only 790 arrests made in relation to those break-ins. The district attorney, George Gascon, is asking for $1 million in taxpayer money in order to organize a task force that plans to confront this head-on. That $1 million is nothing compared to the recent reported cost of cleaning up the city. According to NBC, the NBC Bay Area Investigative Unit surveyed 153 blocks of downtown San Francisco in search of trash, needles, and feces. The investigation revealed trash littered across every block. The survey also found 41 blocks dotted with needles and 96 blocks sullied with piles of feces. How much is the city spending to take care of this problem? $30 million. Just remember that when somebody from California boasts about this state being ahead of its time. This isn't a bad neighborhood either. This is where a ton of tech companies operate. Their employees have to step over literal large piles of trash and feces in order to make it to work. Don't you worry though, San Francisco and the companies that operate there will be sure to tell you what you can say, what you're allowed to think, and what kind of ideas you're allowed to share within the public space. The increase of tourism to San Francisco also slowed down last year in 2017, and according to the San Francisco Travel Association, it's because of Donald Trump. Well, that and their streets hygiene problem. Their tourism increased only by 1.4% since 2016, which is a level they are unsatisfied with. They claim that people throughout the world are discouraged to travel to San Francisco because of the way the rest of the world views us since Donald Trump became president. They do concede that the conditions of their streets have a lot to do with it, but they were sure to use that trump card in order to divert the blame from themselves. The point of this video is this. If you're going to assert moral dominance to the rest of the country using the mantra of diversity is our strength, maybe you should make sure there isn't $30 million worth of cleanup in your city, especially considering what all of that much needed cleanup is made up of.